it's a broken window philosophy. And uh, the, actually, I learned it when I studied criminal justice when I was in law school. So when a neighborhood has a broken window, what happens if, if you don't fix the window, more broken windows. Exactly. Right? And so as you look around here, what we want to do is create momentum so that there's no broken windows here. That the nicer it looks, then it creates energy that people want to keep it nice and make it even nicer. Yeah. Right? When we have stuff like this, that energy is it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a low, it's a low energy. And, and I agree with you. If you make it nice, you can get better human being. Exactly. That's, the that's, other 99 professionals. Exactly. Right? That, exactly. That's the goal. Better human being. Doctors, lawyers, under, businessmen, under. engineers, all the creativity that's part of baseball as well. Yeah. And sports in general, right? It yeah. stimulates creativity, which then stimulates economy. Exactly, and and that that is our goal to create a sports economy on the island. Um, you you just not you need also players, but you need the, the administration part behind the player to make this economy. This field called uh, Trophy, Trophy Baseball Field. Here's where um, Ozzy used to play baseball. He Ozzy he grew up here, and after after his younger years. He got he, he got signed. It's hard, to believe, it's hard to believe an MLB player could play on this field. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's 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 our reality. So right. what is you guys the, is this the worst field you guys have? No, no. So you, we'll see the worst that. field you will see a, a worst field where where um, Didi lives. Really? Yeah. Yeah. The the, the yeah. field that you guys saw yesterday. Yeah. That's the yeah. that's the only that's the only turf field that we have on the island. And you guys need turf here. Because yeah, we need turf field. If you happen. want to to to, to speak about development. Yeah. You, you, need, you need better, better surfaces. Right now we are at, at the Rift Stadium. This is one of our, our central stadium. Um, besides Theodore Ballpark where Curacao Baseball Week is held, this is our uh, training facility, but also a game Game Stadium. Andrew Jones, uh, Hansley, all the ba the older guys, Simmons. They, they also they also used to play in here, um, but we, we 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 still have to make the step to go to a better to a better facility. But this is this is this is a national pride. During during the 60s, uh, 50s, 70s, it was full 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 of spectators. And, and baseball is our is also our our. our Sport number one, the old pastime thing. So. Oh yeah, well, like like America, you know, you need to create a, a home experience yeah. at these stadiums now. Yeah. Especially with the cruise ships behind us, I know they're, they're pounding right now for a new pier. But uh, you know, I, I see the digital side of this is an extraordinary opportunity for you guys. There's of so course. much advertising over this wall. Of course, that's why that's why we we, we signed a year ago uh, 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 MOU with. Yep. The, Curious how port authorities, because we knew that the second mega pier is coming here. So during days, 10,000 of, of tourists is coming and passing by here. So the idea is right now to, to partner up and to see, okay, to make a business module for this whole stadium. And it will be then business, tourism business and sport business, how you can maintain and develop this into a state, state of the art. Yes, one, of, one of the things that you know, we want to help with is the idea, most companies, they sell to those 10,000 people. Yeah. What you can use baseball and sports is you sell through them. Exactly. So when you inspire them, when you empower them, when they learn the heritage, the history, the culture, the stadium itself is the heritage. Right, people want to see that, and that's what you create here. Exactly. All the stories, and then the advertising, and branding, and marketing. We're going to start selling through the tourists in Curacao instead of to them. Right? Enough souvenirs. Let's get them here forever. When we educate people on those ships, 10,000 of them, about the history, heritage, and culture, about sports, which is the majority of the people's favorite thing. Yeah, of course. Then they come back because they feel connected to your community and they want to support it as well. Sports is it's a business nowadays and the idea for us is um, to market Curacao also as a sports destination using our athletes as, 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 as the tool. On the west side of the island, it's, it's less, less sport development. These kids around here, 
they are raw material. But due to the development, there's nothing. So five years ago, I started this initiative. Um, it was like to give the kids from the west coast of the island opportunity to use in sports as a tool. After school hours, they get baseball from coaches. But then I realized um, they didn't receive physical education at school. So when you're on the field, you see some, um, they have some disadvantage, physical yeah. disadvantage. So we, we instated a physical teacher with a ba baseball background into the school. And that physical teacher, after school hours, he came also on the field. But due to um, social uh, funds, the kids weren't able to buy uh, clothes, equipment, and they need food. So we made a triangle school, after school program from two o'clock to four o'clock. They get food, uh, education, school education, and after four o'clock, they will come on the field and train. And here is um, Didi's father. That's Didi Senior, yeah. Senior, Didi's father. Uh, is one, one, one of the coaches that um, used to help here. And for five years now, we, we have approximately like 60 kids. Wow. wow. And they play here? They play here. Yeah. As you see, it, it's, it's, it's dirty. Really. It's just improvising. Yeah, yeah. They want to play. They want to play. We, we, they we, get excited? Yeah, of course, of course. It's, it's because there, there was nothing for them. So right now, during the weekend, they go, in, they go into the city and play, play against uh, other teams. Um, participate in the in, in the little league events, so that it, it's 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 a new new life for them. Yeah, we, they we built the dugout out of crates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We 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 got a, a batting cage subsidized, and over there we have a container, and in that container we put some equipment. As you see, it's how we do baseball. You just realize when you work with kids like yeah. we do, you know, you can give them this little. And you see how excited they get and what a change it makes in their life. Yeah. Right? And it's all, it's a holistic change. It's, it's all their being. It's not just making them baseball players. And no. Most of these 60 kids will never make it anywhere. That's true. Right. But you're education. In shape. You're educating them. You're feeding them. You're giving them fuel. And forming, forming their, their character. Yeah. And uh, teaching them to give back themselves. Because all of these 60 kids will be more successful. And when they become more successful, they're going to come back and say, the reason I was successful because this, this, this organization. So I'm, I'm going to give back to the organization, to the new kids exactly. of this neighborhood to also get that, that, this, this, this form of education. Exactly. Baseball is like entrepreneurship. Every guy out here could have an excuse why they can't be out here. They are facing even bigger challenges than most business people. But yet here we are with probably the most talent per capita of all sports. And they have an unbelievable, humble attitude. So many of them come back here to give back, but also they stay here during the off season. And they don't live in extravagant means. They just give back, they enjoy life, and they enjoy baseball just like you should as an entrepreneur. Enjoy your business, enjoy the pursuit of your potential, and don't worry about anything else. Just have a good time, make a lot of money, help a lot of people, and have a lot of fun. That's what these ball players are doing.